Hello, everybody. I think I'm ready to get started. So it's pretty early in the morning here, so I imagine people will trickle in towards the end of the stream. However, today is probably going to be a shorter video uh, since I have some family matters to attend to. But we'll be doing a makeup video in the evening. I'll look forward to that, YouTube. But I guess we'll warm up a bit while people are coming in. Do some solo runs. We'll see where it goes from there, I suppose. Welcome in Parameter. Hope you're doing well. Is there something you would like to run today in Parameter? You have first dibs, as it were. I'm just going to do a warm-up uh, box run to give people a chance to come in. Look at that chat. Quest variety. <laughs> this character is actually not too far away from leveling. Hopefully I left the hell handgun in there with the 502. Good. Inventory full. I'm just bobbing my head to the music chat. I do like the Yakuza Zero soundtrack. By comparison. Mm. I was gonna say, I remember when I used to use charge weapons to clear this. It's been a while. I was just curious. Time save. Even with these levels, how much faster it was. So cheesy. <laughs> oh, I got. Oh, I actually have enough accuracy to land the first shot with you cast. Really? Or, uh, good ring? Same. And it just feels unfair. When you have V502, it actually just feels unfair. Say, so, so far, a big ol' nothing. Oh, I see a caliber. So technically, the point of the run has happened. Too bad there's nothing I really want to pick up and sell. I'll take the money, though. I'm going to say the band is called Masa that did Dynasty Warriors. This song reminds me again of Dynasty Warriors. The way they have the electric guitar. I, I would have been very confused as to what game this was from if I just heard this by itself. Might as well check the next room. Oops. What is there though? I was gonna say, this is how this character climbed from like 110 to like 125 ish. Just purely box runs. Sadly, nothing of interest. I could go back and grab items. But since we're doing more of a time waster box run, fine. 
What I do want to do is put this away. Let me know in Parameter if you'd like to hop in for some run. there's anything I could put away for the future. Uh, I'll leave it as is, actually. Wow, I'm at 14 luck materials already. So, so far in the event, I haven't been playing very much off stream, like maybe about an hour at most across two days. Maybe two hours yesterday off stream. Already at 14 luck materials. That's silly. As I said before, yesterday I was getting almost one a run. Very high. I guess that's what happens when drop rate is high. Let's take a quick look. I'll read out some numbers. How is everybody doing with the event? <coughs> Excuse me. Rare enemy rate is up. So we passed the 4,000 point margin. So on the table are Temple, Spaceship, Tower, August Atrocity 1 and 2. The Atrocities are... I, I, I don't really want to do those solo. I don't think I have the right gear for it. <clears throat> but potentially the other ones wouldn't be too bad. Maybe we'll try something in that vein. I used to do a lot of solo Temple runs. Spaceship might be okay. Or I do solo TTF, honestly. We'll cancel the quest, see if anybody's waiting in lobby. Black chair. Or if you want to do spaceship. I was double checking the uh, drops. There's a lot of guild chicks, a lot of Garands, and Del Saber. Yeah, I think because it has more Del Saber, I kind of would rather do it on. <laughs> I can see why orange is good, but just want to double check one other thing. We'll get started. Sorry about that. <clears throat> Episode 2 drop charts are the thing that I remember the least. Yes, yeah, so they get it from Barans. This is not bad. I, I mean, like, definitely if you only want Daylight Scar, we should do Orange. I think Sky has some good drops. I could leave it as this character. Nice, nice. Yeah, we were talking about... I think Hoopweep brought it up the other day. I don't remember if that was on stream or off stream. I think it was on stream. <laughs> we're, uh, we're saying, like, in terms of value, Sky ID might be better. But in terms of just getting a Daylight Scar, Orange ID is better. So, for me, I don't really care. I, I don't super need a Daylight Scar. It's more just doing the runs. If there's anybody else that wants to hop in, by all means, we have some free slots. Just doing some early spaceship, so... Oh, 
Looks like Minus X is here. Welcome, Minus X. That'll help a little bit. I was gonna say, I think Minus X was like 112-ish, I think, in the first video. Where he joined and got the red ring. Climbing up to 136. That those stats feel nice. Hopefully you're doing well, Minus X. That's why he's able to land the hell shot. I have S parts on. That makes so much sense to me now. So I'm only 5 accuracy off a of red ring. Which, to be fair, honestly, I don't feel like I'm missing a whole ton with him. So, thank you, S parts version 2.01. I'm like, when I did that shot earlier, I'm like, I'm pretty sure I could never make that shot. I'm like, oh, 15 more accuracy. That makes more sense. <laughs> so, suddenly, that makes a lot of sense. that was like abysmal chances of hitting it was like sub 30 I was gonna say honestly you cast they don't need a whole bunch it's nice that I have disc of brave man for 13 I like doing that more in four-man groups. I, d I don't have that confidence for three-man groups with it. But I like that I have Jaya. Like, when you just need something gone, like, hmm. Press the delete button. I got charge ray gun if I want to trap shoot. I could put away my red handgun to hold more. Guess I could. I only need that for uh, false runs. And once I get enough ATP, I don't need it at all. As long as I don't mind a slightly slower vault up. I'm gonna say the squad's rolling out. Oh, I hate when it splits the party. No worries, Minus X. Always appreciate the company. Hopefully you have a good time, too. Actually got a new ex cow. That is not who I wanted to target. That's unfortunate. Oh. I didn't know where he was at first that he teleported it and slapped me. That was rude. Hate small rooms for that reason. And I don't have shift on, but Hugh Cast is gonna do Hugh Cast things. Game, please. There we go. I was like, could you could you stop putting the Del Saber where I'm standing? I'd appreciate if you just died.
Oh, that disc of damage is so high. Welcome, Chris. Hope you're doing well. Are there any hunts you wanted to do today, Chris? More than welcome to join in. Triple Dell Saber, leave me alone. Uh, you can heal me if you want. I don't care. I I'm not going to be using Dark Blow. Yeah, so feel free to spam Resta if you want. I'm going to be spamming this. Oh, uh, I didn't knock him down. That's unfortunate. I guess I shouldn't have leaned into the odds. It was not in my favor to knock down. Oh, well. So many Barans. So those are the things that could drop the Daylight Scar. You can see how much damage the Disca does. Like, I'm legit doing like a thousand plus. So it saves a lot of time if I can land it. You're surviving. That's a good start, Chris. Yeah, I'm just draining health because that's just unfortunately what I have to do for Disca Brave Man. Uh, I think I gotta heal this. There we go. I guess I could just play loose. As I said before, it's it's better to try to push your limits when you're not comfortable with the character. So you can understand what your limits are. And since I don't play Hugh as often as I should, I should push my limits. You know what? I'm going to confuse them to make sure they stay merged. I'm going to murder them. A lot of enemies. Yeah, I would say, I would say don't super, super worry about my health. Just if I get to like four, <laughs> then, you, then you probably heal me. But if you incidentally heal me, that's fine too. So I'm going to be draining it really quick, kind of like that. Because the point is I just want to burst these enemies before they get a chance to do anything. Yeah, like I'm doing 1300 plus on a Disca. Just to make sure that we kill this. And that's the power of Hugh Cast. Hugh Cast does not care about what what enemy stats are. Like, look at that. Goodbye. Yeah, I gotta I gotta build up the bravery. There we go. Bonk. And there's times where I miss by, like, just literally 10 damage. That's where, like, I still have, like, another 100 plus ATP to go on this. I'm dead. I don't know why I did that. I think my brain is, like, you were doing a uh, lower level spaceship to help somebody out the other day. And my brain is like, yeah, you'll knock them down. And I'm like, no. No, you won't. It's fine, though. Ooh. It's not a good... Let's get a freeze trap here. <laughs> See, if I play this again, now I know. Oh, hey, Daylight Scar. Wow. Ooh. Fan minus X down. He's on fire today with items. So is that a 60 hit? Wow, that's crazy. From the other person. Here we go. Charge Ray Gun putting in the work. Thank you, Charge Ray Gun. Listen, sometimes you just need to trap shoot. I forgot there was another wave. My bad. Oh, I tried to menu that really quick. There, I should have used my shortcuts for healing. I would have lived if I did that. My bad. 
Normally it doesn't matter. I actually died at full health there. Did you see that? I try made it. I still died. So silly. Yeah, that, that could be rough. I was not expecting triple wave. I kind of forgot. That would be on me for sure. That is very hard for flesh characters to deal with. I was expecting an I was expecting waves of two. I forgot a wave. I thought there was a wave in between the wave of three. But now I know if we do spaceship again. That I have to just stay near the top. See that? It's all part of the learning process. Like how often do I do spaceship runs on the stream? Pretty much never. We'll do a confused trap to keep him locked in form. On the plus side, I escaped all at some point, so I could just start spamming freeze traps. That's always nice. But sometimes you do want to take the death on purpose to burn escape doll. At this point, it doesn't matter. I have so many. I'm going to lure them into fight each other. I mean, damn, he's doing like 1,500 a hit. Crazy. Is it like six? I was going to say that. I was going to say six involving two Del Saber, but not quite. And again, so I escaped all. I can afford to just go crazy with traps. Bonk. Crew. I need to try it. Uh, Free strap, please. Why, hello there, Quadra Barans. Right, chat? Mmm. What a polite final wave. It's like, oh, are you about to finish the run? Perish. Indeed, Tiggy. You're doing well, Tiggy. We'll probably do one more spaceship run, and then we'll switch over to something with rare enemies, most likely. Figured we almost never do this. It'd be nice if this character almost levels. Uh, it's more just to show off the run, I guess. I mean, it is a useful item. I wouldn't mind one with hit, so that way I could use it in a uh, tower. You're thinking of making a bad decision, says Tiggy. What does that mean? I'm gonna be like, Tiggy, no! No, 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 no. I was gonna say, you should keep it minus X. Most people have at least basic ones. <laughs> I wouldn't worry about it. It's pretty strong. You'll probably use it to finish off high defense targets. Oh, you already have one? Nice, nice. I mean, if you don't want it at all, I will literally take it. <laughs> like, listen, if you have, if you are literally not going to use it and you're not going to trade it, I, I will take it. But only in that scenario. You're asking the wrong person about anything math related. Oh, no. <laughs> Set a negative 100%. It's true. It's true. Let's see. Oh, I, I did pick up a tri-fluid in the run, but it's not really needed. Just making sure I got my atomized just out of the way. Welcome, Murphy. Hope you're doing well. Yeah, no worries. 
Yeah, I want you to get PDs for it for sure. But if if you're not interested in it at all, I'm like I'd rather it go somewhere, just unused. We'll do one more. Five hundred PDs. That's a lot, Tiggy. I mean, I guess if you have truly nothing else to purchase, Tiggy, sure. If you got all your challenge mode weapons, why not? Okay. So one more of these, and then that'll put me pretty close to leveling, which is all you could really ask for in a short stream. <laughs> just, just get close to leveling. Like, oh, can't wait, chat. Once he starts getting to like 1550 ATP, he stops dropping kills <clears throat> by having almost like another 80 ATP to avoid missing kills by like 15. It'll be nice. Plus his defense will go up, which is actually useful in forest. Yeah, you know, I was always like, wait a minute, Tiki going a little wild there. No challenge mode stuff. Are you ready to hop in, Chris? <laughs> Another Ajito 1975. Jeez, poor it, poor Ajito. That has been going across the top of the screen every stream. <laughs> every single stream. That is kind of bonkers. So they're doing yellow ID with it, which I find interesting. Goals to use gold badges to amass photon spheres. So far, I haven't gotten a lot. To be honest with you. Like, gold badge wise, I have won in about like 15 hours of playing. Oh, I like that uh, emote. Yeah, that was a good one. Chris, Chris is very impressed, I could tell. It is capturable. I don't normally do that. I actually don't even remember how to capture it. I don't remember. I know there's an option somewhere in PSO to copy the emote. Oh, you have to go to a free slot and then capture. That makes sense. Yeah, I think I'm sitting on, like, 50. Like, I don't have a low number. Let me be clear. I was like, oh, I could probably get, like, one every other stream. Yeah. Because I was thinking, like, initially it's going to be slow, right? Because of the badge rates aren't boosted. But now they are. And I'm like... I just need to stay away from the Dell Sabers. Things annoy me. Nope. Get away from me. I know they like spawning on that side of the room, so I'm gonna play more aggressively over here. Funk. Well, that almost was super terrible for me. Uh, I think our damage is pretty good now. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. We, we actually got good damage. Like, wait a minute. I'm not even getting confused trap cheese. Yeah, I want to pace myself with this event for sure. Like, today will be the most that I'll play PSO for a while, for sure. But then, like, Sunday won't be, like... It'll be, like, normal stream. It won't be, like, a seven-hour monstrosity. Yeah, just even having more defense to deal with the Barans is good there. So I have a lot to... Oh, what was the wave before the quadruple Barans? That I need to learn. I was not paying attention. 
I know it's two brands, two brands, three brands. So I know like I can't go, I can't go easy on the beginning part. I just have to be ready to freeze trap always. But once I enter that room, I think I'll stay with uh, gun because of how often I need to freeze. It was, I think it was after four wolves, two Del Sabers. There's like two of those waves into it, I think. I was like half paying attention. Listen, <laughs> I was gonna say, I might, I might not, oh, I'm dead. I don't know why I keep doing that. Well, I actually dodged that time. I'm proud of myself. I didn't just face plant and die. Yeah, you know, like this room, I don't need to super worry about locking down when I have a ranger. If I was playing solo, this that wave would scare me. Oh, I'm too far back. Bonk bonk. Yeah, like, I'm needed there where you can't get a clean frozen shooter shot. Like, I'll, I'll recognize the difficulty. That That is a rude spawn. I feel like that is just straight up a check to see whether or not you have a uh, trap user. Oh, that Disco Brain Man is so sick. <laughs> see, like, that room would be such garbage without a Hugh cast chat. I don't even know what you would do. If you're playing, like, all hunters, no casts. Like, GG, I guess. <laughs> like, I guess I'll die. I don't think you could heal. Probably needed to survive a Del Saber. Wait, how I wanted to aim that, but that's fine. Funk. Gonna say, leave me alone, Del Saver. <laughs> I still have 9 for the other room. I think I'm good. Yeah, indeed. Some Yakuza music. I preserved the switch. That, that, that was a little unnecessary. Bonk. Thank you, Charge Ray Gun. I'm so glad I brought it on this run. You have no idea, chat. Sometimes you just need to trap shoot and also single target without any delays. So I'm gonna put a freeze trap near the one near me. Take some damage, that's fine. I'm gonna set up for the next wave. I'm gonna set up for the next wave. <laughs> There we go. See, like, when I learn where the Barans are, it's not its not that bad of a quest, but it really does need you to, like, remember where those are. Oh, meanwhile, I remember this wave. Goodbye. I still have three freeze traps for later. I'm gonna hold on to them as long as possible. For that awful double up. So I know I, ha I can't play two center.
occupy me a lot of time. Oh. I like he just phased out of existence for me. That was cute. Not quite this wave yet. I was gonna say, please don't shoot me. Oh, speaking of gold badges. I was gonna say two more and it'll even out how long I've been playing PSO. Yeah, this is where we start getting into the, I think we're going to be Baran's category. Might be one wave after this. Yeah, I, I'm very suspect. I'll do Jiska into this though. Just get a quick try name. Okay. I thought I'd have to use a few more freeze traps, but I think that went fine. It's fine. Yeah, maybe later today we'll do some rare enemy hunts. I'm thinking about it. I kinda just want this character to level. Yes. Did this music played in Yakuza Zero? Uh, might have been one of the training sessions. The song is called Tiger Fruit. There we go. We built up Spaceship a little bit. Why don't we do one Underground Episode 4? Way this character will level and we'll get more XP. Slash lame to Argent chances. And then maybe for the group, if the group still needs red ring, we'll do some red rings. That way we could say we still added points. I think in the evening we'll do a mix of rare enemies and some August atrocities. No, I'm in the shop menu now. Poor Chris. I'm gonna write down for Chris, Red Ring. <laughs> I like how they have this whole elaborate system where you send out agents to get items, but I'm like, but I can already buy Spicy Knife. Right, chat? <laughs> yeah, I remember spending like millions just to try to fill it out for the achievement. And I'm like, man, I don't even need any of this. I'm like, I could just buy Spicy Knife. I don't even have to make it. Yeah, your agent found Lead Pipe, exactly. I'm like, but Spicy Knife. I was gonna say, cue the montage of Kiryu never kills anybody, and then show him shooting the helicopter out of the air, <laughs> repeatedly stabbing Mr. Shakedown with Spicy Knife, etc. 
Poor Mr. Shakedown. I like that he was, like, barely a threat. Like, I even beat him before Spicy Knife. But then, like, by... I think it was, like, Chapter 4 you get it. It you could do the, uh... Alleyway purchases. So it was just over. Like, poor guy. Just getting actually slaughtered. work on the trap shooting. I feel like sometimes it doesn't do what I want it to do. Just lack of practice, I think. Just level up. Your own. So just remember, after this wave will be a Gerdabulu, which is different than normal. It's gonna be on the left side of the map, <laughs> is what I should say. Closer to the door. Nice and simple, at least. Everybody's favorite wave. Oh, I got double hit. That sucks. Unfortunate. Rip me, I guess. I should use Vulcans here. Oh, too slow. Can't get away with a special on the second hit, that's fair. Yeah, the confuse will help speed this process up significantly. That doesn't have to worry about comboing. They're basically just gonna expose their back to the gunners the whole time. to go in the next room first. I mean, I could twin blaze, but no point. So as long as no one goes on the bottom left corner, I'm going to put a freeze trap when I assess that the enemies are near dead. I'm going to run to the other side and try to freeze trap the other side. Huh? Oh, yeah, we're good. I'm going to put a freeze trap down here. I'm going to start running. Hopefully that doesn't go up early. At all, but I was slightly too far over. That's fine. See that? I assisted the other side of the room. They're on their own with theirs now. My goal is to just lock down the problem waves where I can. Try to burst without dying. Oh, nope. Almost. I need to learn to menu. Or not menu, use the shortcuts. I got into a bad habit last stream. I need to break that. So we'll shut these enemies down. <laughs> and 
this, the beautiful carnage. Oh, somebody found a psycho wand. Nice. Bonk, bonk, bonk. me out of kill range at least. I don't remember the song in the game at all. I mean, it sounds like the oh, host mini game. Sunshine fake love. Interesting. Too bad there's lyrics. I gotta skip the lyrics. Oh. Oh, this. Okay, this is definitely the hostess one. Yeah. This is when you're in the well, one of the menus. It sounds like the one that has lyrics, the I want to be your girl one. Bonk, bonk. All right, this should beat them into getting frozen by me. That's fine. I'll take it for the team to get a freeze. Should have died there. Uh, put a confused trap down, and then I'm gonna shoot the zoo. Oh, now this is the one that has the lyrics. Get a murdering right now. Leave it on for now. Get out of here, Marissa's. Yeah. Zero probably had the best hostess mini game thing. I would say of all of them. I wasn't really that thrilled with the later ones. Silly enemies. Oh, I did not mean to put a freeze trap down there. Oops, I needed one more for the next room. It's gonna be an interesting room later. Missed another 80% game, please. <laughs> I cannot wait to get Red Ring with this character. Then I'll just miss 90%. Get this item. That's a set of freeze so I could use Confused here. That'll buy the team some time if they just want to walk away from the enemies. Goodbye. It's one of the things I need the freeze trap. Wait, how did I put a freeze trap but it didn't hit all three? Oh, I feel a little cheated there. I feel a little cheated there. I am not gonna lie. I was literally on that side of the room specifically to do that. I guess I was too far forward somehow? Unfortunate. I wish I could see the actual radius of Freeze Trap. So, something about it just doesn't make sense to me. I, I wish I could see the hitbox. Because I, I know you can land that triple freeze. It just might be like it literally has to be like the 
the left and right have to line up with them to hit versus like a slight diagonal. I'm not sure how generous it is. We're definitely freezing this way. Down a confused trap. That should slow them down significantly. Yeah, I'm glad this character got to level a bit more. They are just teleporting everywhere. Please stop. Jokes on them, I got Mag Blast. He also just got Mag Blast too. unlock with normal attacks. That way this doesn't do anything. I don't need a freeze trap for this technically. Seen did not get hit until it's done. Mission accomplished there. Killed it with fire trap. Nice. Okay, operation stun lock. Thank you for the demon. <laughs> Who's poor Gerda Bilu? There, there's so many people with demons. <laughs> the wall of death approaches. Yeah, I do feel kind of disappointed that like... Majima is so different in Zero compared to the later games. Like, he's very cartoonishly over the top in the later games. Which, you know, take it or leave it, but I, I kind of like the War in Zero, to be honest. Yeah. Like, I don't mind that they have that character. I just wish it was a different character, if that makes sense. I'm not sure the release order, but something like that. I know it. I know it's after three. I just don't know if it's before five or before six. Oh, this. Oh, there we go. Fever time, chat. I popped it. Bob your head. Clap, clap, clap. Hmm. I guess we could do a few TTFs. I have enough time to probably do three or four. We'll do more serious stuff in the evening. What ID to play, though? If somebody has a red ID, we could try to go for uh, slime dupes. <laughs> I don't have a red ID. Oh, Chris, did you want to bring in your red ID, actually? Oh, he's stepping away. I was gonna say, if, if we host Red ID, Chris was looking for Lava's Cannon. But I guess if anything gives Lava's Cannon, it could be interesting. Let's learn. If he says he could do a Red in five minutes. Yeah, we might sub you in for the, the next one. I'm just looking to see where. Make use. Because we're not going to do a purple ID TTF. Although in theory, I guess we could do purple ID forest at some point in the future. It's not bad. I mean, you get Love Cannon plus Frozen Shooter, Heavenly Arms. I just don't think it tops white ID, though.
do Sky ID to get Sange from Milbele. Not that I care. Really want that item. Oh, it's Sincesta on Sky ID for Brands. I was gonna say, I remember we killed the Brands on purpose in Sky Lee. Even before then. I didn't remember what it was for. Makes sense, I guess. Alright, so we'll just wait for somebody to potentially host and then we'll move forward. Hmm. No worries, minus X. We'll give Chris some time. Because I know he has a red ID character. <clears throat> Although I guess we could technically just do green ID first. Welcome, Chris. Oh, I was gonna say, Chris, now's your chance. If you would like to potentially get your lava cannon from <laughs> Slime Dupes, you need to bring in your Ramar or something. Yeah. <clears throat> No, I'll just bring some damage. Keep leveling this character up. Are we still using a Heavenly ability? I should be using a Centurion, because he's not even close to cap. Alright, Chris will swap out and make game. I know that was one of the items he was looking for. That and Seal J Sword. <laughs> I, I didn't write it down, but in my heart, I know that's what Chris is looking for. So here's the deal. If we don't have enough time for a full TTF run, Chris, we'll we'll do a couple of short uh resets for Seal J just for you. Is it'll we have enough time for at least three TTFs? Maybe four. In fact, yeah, we'll let Chris make the game. So we'll probably be reviving Chris's character, which is fine. We gotta level him somehow. Um, do uh, episode one for TTF. I'll make up all the damage with Jaya. We should be fine. Parameter will help clean up uh, Vault Op for me. Domain expansion? That's what they called their game. Nice. Jujutsu Kaisen fans, I guess. Uh, minus join for now. We'll have uh, Murphy jump in the next one. We'll give Murphy some time. Okay. We'll do a quick TTF. We'll sub in Murphy, and we'll do, depending on time, maybe two more into a couple of resets for Seal J Sword. Could have brought Dark Flow. I mean, Charge Ball can still really good. Get me wrong. I'm gonna clean up this room. I can move on. Heavenly Battle, nice. Take that Scape Doll. I just clear first. I usually just don't move forward because the, the way I see it is that if there's enough damage, I'm not really needed in the first room. I just have to not be super far behind. No, like, I'm not looking for anything in otherwise drop-wise. Because I just find when there's like three really strong attackers or even like, no, two really strong attackers or three decent attackers, then it is like a fourth person is just really not needed. Why can I not these boxes game please? Right. I need everybody to come back. Yeah, I just kill those because as a cast, I can confuse trap them and then disco them and they usually die on their own. It's just kind of free experience. That's where I've learned. I take like a three second loss to kill like six.
six creatures, which is worth it in an anniversary event for badges. It's, it's extremely minimal effort, and I don't even go backwards at all if uh, they don't drop anything. Uh, full clearing enemies is not really worth it. Yeah. The, the way you get experience is, like, actually just killing the bosses. I'm doing it mostly for bad chances. But th the difference with the cast, as I said before, is that I'm not really losing time unless I go back for the items. Like, the most I lose is I put down two confused traps, throw one disca, move on. And they'll they'll kill themselves, usually. And if anybody's Zalors, then I don't even need to Diska. Because we've had that before where Murphy, like, Zalor 30s them, and they just legit die to Confuse Trap. I think people underestimate how broken Confuse Trap is. <laughs> like, it is it is just, like, a free item checks with minimal time loss, if any. So you'll see me do drive-by Confuse Traps and just walk out of rooms. You'll see me do that in uh, Mines in particular. I'm going to do some slime dupes, so just make sure not to kill the slime. Or I'll be very, very sad. Alright, no rare slime. And perish. Yeah, so the reason... Oh, to explain to Minus X, because you might not have seen it before. So if you put a fire trap over where a slime spawns, it kills all the slimes, including the dupes. If you're wondering how I'm killing all four with one trap, this way distance, it's just a gimmick. Fire traps are surprisingly good. Did he really block me? Wow, that sucked. Yeah, like, we, we take, like, super minimal time loss, and it's just free kills. And we have gotten many PDs on stream from doing that, so, like, I would say it's worth it. Oh, rare slime! Hey! Chris is Lava's Cannon. Come on, Lava's Cannon. Gimme, give gimme. Give Alright, I'm gonna need help with the rare slime. Alright. I need you to perish. Freezing time. Oh. Uh, oh, uh, does. Oh, no frozen shooter on the team. Oh, no. Team's trolling. There we go. Nothing, sadly. Oh, well. Worth a shot. So there you go. Slime duping almost paying off. It's close. Yeah, that was a 1 in 21 ish, but we also have rear up. So it wasn't like the worst odds ever, but still not great. I'm just gonna walk to the corner here. So because I held forward, I know I'm invincible. Although I have to keep in mind I don't actually have mag invincibility. If I go here, I shouldn't get hit. Yeah. Bonk. Goodbye, worm boss. So I'm gonna hold down into the right, and if you do that during this cutscene, it puts you where the boss drop is. So I could do that to save me some time and also just pick it up if it's Mesetta. That's just a die fluid. So if you're wondering how I'm already in the next area, that's what I'm doing. So here's another example where I confuse trap. If the Zalora was here, I wouldn't have to babysit it, but I'll just do a couple shots here. He rolled a shell, nice. Should make it pretty easy to go by. My goal is to be no more than like three or four seconds behind the main lead. The reason being that I could afford some delay in here because it only matters that somebody goes before me. And I could kind of clean up the rooms as needed. So I should assist this to speed up the room. I could do this to speed up this room. But I know by the time that they hit the switch and some of the other person, I could probably get a kill. 
Yeah. So, rather than wait in that room and get no kills, at least I got a kill. That way, by the time I get here, I can put a freeze trap down. It should automatically detonate, and I kill the Sinnoh. So that's the kind of stuff that I like to do. Like, minimal, minimal hands-on. Oh, wow, they deleted that Sinnoh blue. Holy. Did you see that, chat? Holy. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the Barans. Goodbye, Barans. <laughs> You're in the way, Parrish. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I could in theory Dark Flow this boss, but it's probably better for me to just Disca. Disca's still extremely powerful. As long as I have a good option for Phase 2, that's all that really matters. And if I have to, I'll Twin Blaze to slow the boss down. I'll just do some random pot shots, I think. Oh, it turned into a PD, yeah. Like, every every kill matters. You never know. You just get the dumbest free kills because you're waiting anyway. I love when I'm doing like 20 damage with it, that's hilarious. Oh, one that I had to hit was too far for me. It's unlucky. That, that was actually genuinely unlucky. There we go. Because I was like, I knew it wasn't the one behind me, and then I looked at the one beside me, and it wasn't that either. Nine a melee weapon. We didn't kill fast enough. That's a, that's a shame. Rip. Goodbye, my escape doll. I wasn't sure. It it was pretty close in DPS, but it wasn't quite fast enough, sadly. Going without a locker stuff to get a locker, something like that. Hmm. Why do I never line that up properly? Bonk. Uh oh, pew pew later clock apparently. Uh, do I go for the fast kill? Yeah, I think I just go for the fast kill. Oh, desync. He died anyway. Okay, so as long as someone got the fast kill off of that, I'm happy. Oh, an actual legitimate disc of Brave Man dropped? What? Dropped from the box? Yeah, I learned. Rolled like trash, though. Unfortunate. Oh, there we go. Now we're back to Tusk. Name of the song. That, that was just kind of unlucky. <laughs> it's like, I shot in the gap between his arms. It's so sad. I guess I'll kill them since I'm here. We should probably move on. I don't think Red ID wants anything from Darkbringer. Survey says... Oh, there are spread needles. Wait, we do. My bad. I forgot. For some reason, I thought it was uh, the Delvies. Don't mind me, I'll just kill them real quick for Spread Needle. Oh, no Spread Needle. That's a shame. I did not bring my red handgun. Uh, let's see if I regret it. Can I one tap with Discharge Ray Gun? I have leveled a lot, maybe? Is that a monolith? Maybe, chat, maybe? 
<laughs> if I don't one tap, I'm gonna be very sad. I know at max level 100% it works. I need like 1400 or so. We'll see. Oh, I don't one tap. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we'll go challenge mode. Believe in the crits. Just always crit chat, it's fun. At least I feel like I'm pretty good with the spinners. Like, I might forget some things, but I feel like I'm actually pretty good at dodging. I very rarely get hit by them anymore. I've learned to kind of adapt to the pattern. Sadly, Eva would double tap. This boss doesn't stand a chance. Uh, Red Handgun has more base ATP, so if I'm looking to just do a single normal attack, it is more likely to kill in one shot than a, a Ray Gun. That's literally it's the only reason I put it in the run, other than it also helps with Volt Off, since Volt Off only cares about total ATP. Nice and simple. So you'll see a lot of characters use it early on before you get any good drops, and Red Handgun is pretty common since it's in Forest, so it kind of it's not a hard thing to farm, either. Oh boy. A uh, really high chance of it hitting me here. That's fine, we'll take that. Uh... Okay. Get out of here, falls. So I'm going to make sure to hold forward, because sometimes the character's facing a random direction. I think maybe based off of where I was looking. I need to make sure I'm actually aiming forward. Yeah, like there I was actually pretty close. Sometimes I've been like dead sideways. Yeah, that's why I make those kind of comments in the guides, because people just don't know about it. Because they'll see it and they'll be like, oh, it doesn't really have a good special, but it's like, wait. It's actually really good on most characters. Early on. So many pew pew laser falls. That's just rude. Rip Chris. There you go. Chip through the defenses. Behold the power of pew pew. I like that Chris survived that attack and uh, I'll die at like 13 or 1200 health or so in single player. Plus, is so nonsense sometimes, I swear. Oh, just need a little bit of fire damage. Come on, somebody fireball. There we go. EP laser, that works. Yeah, Foey will also get through that thing's defenses, so if you're a raw moral, I would definitely put that on your bar, just for falls. It sometimes matters. As you saw, if it did a short cycle, it could have actually gotten away. But we chipped out, like, about 900 or so through its shield. Okay. Nothing there. No worries, minus X. I think I got it enough time to do two more. So we'll have probably... Hmm. I guess if somebody drops out, Murphy can come in. Chris needs the Lavis Cannon, so I'm, I'm tagging Chris in. He's had the least run so far. Just gotta level him more. And then we'll do uh, two... Probably quick resets for Seal J Sword. Aw, oh, B ranked. B 
feeding time. There you go. So if you're up for it, Murphy, uh, just let us know. We're just going to do a couple TTFs. Okay. So we'll do two and two, uh, two SJS runs, I think, because they're pretty short runs. The minus next, if you mind stepping out, because we'll have Imperimeter, Murphy, and Chris. <laughs> B rank now, be better next time, Principal Toro. There we go. But hey, minus X, enjoy the daylight scar. Nice, nice simple pickup. I was gonna say, minus X has been on a hot streak with items for sure. So we'll wait for Chris to make a game with the red ID Ramar. We went from 105 to 107, I think. Now we have a force, so we have more damage. This will be interesting. Uh, minus X so far, Tiggy, in the few streams that we've done. Red Ring, Daylight Scar. A couple of other assorted rares. So those, those are the name ones, for sure. And then, uh, he got his first Heavenly Battle on stream, because I think they were using Devil Battle before. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm Zigu. So definitely a very, very big upgrade. Oh, that's right, you did get a 13. Yeah, your first 13 is pretty important. I think it's confused trap o'clock time. Oh. Okay, let's get some free kills as I walk away. Almost all died. Nice, nice. Yeah, I was gonna say with the bronze badges and silver badges, pretty easy to fill in some gaps on characters. So I didn't quite get all of them. They almost killed each other. They were one swing away from killing each other. So sad. Today, that was four kills with very minimal effort. I mean, I think it just literally confused trapped into hell forward. The guy paused very briefly, maybe a second time loss. And I'll take that. Oh, this Allure 30 is so brutal. Ooh, we got a little bit of damage on there with the Vulcan, I think. But you know what? I lied. We actually we actually killed it there. <laughs> Never mind, I'm a liar, chat. We uh we actually insta-killed it. Oops. Yeah, what? oops. Never mind. Ignore me. It was, it was a little more than Vulcan damage there. Poor enemy. to me slime oh went to Chris Blank. one two three the fire trap over here and hopefully don't kill it all right perfect no rare slime perish so that one fire trap up in the middle of the room goodbye oh bronze batch This is another room where if they get Zalord, I could just confuse trap and walk by, and they basically fight themselves to death. Yep, I got a couple kills just then, without doing anything. That's kind of nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, one of them got to 224. Almost got another kill for free. So close. So close. 
One, two, three. Fire trap yeah. spam. Oh, no rare slimes. Guess you all just have to die. Oh, they're all at 11. Goodbye. <laughs> I guess I'll put down a telepipe. I guess. How's my money looking? Oh, not that bad. Yeah. There's pretty good odds somebody has to go through that swarm and get a badge or like a good material. So I expect a lot of people to potentially walk. Yeah, I think TTF we're not worried about maximizing the time on the timer. It's more when there are forced wait times, what do you do to get more experience of those wait times? So caves, you have to wait for the one guy to spawn to open the door. So I usually just go for the slime dupes no matter what. And again, very minimal time loss as long as I'm not the only person going for the door. If everybody goes for it, it doesn't work. If I do it and maybe one other person just cleans up spawns, then that just ends up being like 15 to- Oh, I forgot to hold backwards, my bad. Then like 15 to 20 other kills will happen. And that's just more badge chances, more PDs, slightly more experience. Here's an example where I'm just gonna linger here for a couple of seconds, and you're gonna witness I already got a kill without doing anything other than one disco. And I'm still basically at the front of the line. If I wanna clean up a kill, I could just do that real quick. So like, it's, it's pretty easy to get kills as you go through. And again, as long as you are not the point person, it doesn't matter. Since in this room, we also have to wait. So the way I see it is we don't need to all be triple stacked on the door or whatever. I don't feel like that's worth our time. And since I know nobody is going to be in the next room for a little bit, I might as well get some kills. Alright, now I'm being a little greedy. Let's leave. I'm going to make sure I'm there for the freeze trap. I'm not quite there for the freeze trap. This is fine. I'm here for the damage. That's fine. There we go. Team cleaned up a few free Sinnoh blues because they were confused. They got to ward. We're basically all in position to get to the end. Get this machine gun, one of the guys out of the way. Nice. I'm gonna get my red handgun again, but I'm not going back now. So it's like, again, like we're all pretty close together in terms of grouping. And they're just getting, like, potentially, like, we got, I think in this run, 20 plus free kills at this point. So it's just all those badge chances for people that are just all sucking onto the door. <laughs> Which I've seen people do, and I'm like, oh, it's okay. There, There's natural wait points in almost all of them. Like, in Forest, we don't need everybody clearing the first room, or the final room. I mean, it's good to have two people, but, like, it's fine if we have less. Oh, this boss is acting weird. 15. Why am I still getting hit? Uh... There we go. Yeah, there's no point in me healing since I know I'm just gonna discover Brave Man. And just hope it doesn't missile me. If it cages me, it's fine. If it locks onto the steel thing, I know I have to heal once, but it should be fine. Just don't missile me. Are you being serious? Wow. That is what, they like, what we like to call unlucky. So it is one in four players it targets with one in four options it has. That's so unlucky. I'm hitting the one in 16. Hey, that's almost Lavis Cannon odds. Every time I think I'm holding left far enough, I'm just not. It's so sad. One day. I'll get that spacing correct. I'm gonna go for the fast strat again. 
I would like to do a little zigzag there because I just find it dodges faster. Like, there's nothing he could do here. I have, like, literally a freeze trap set up behind me. So even if I get back attacked, it just shuts the wave down pretty hard. I'll let somebody go to the next room. I'm going to free up our team so that they can actually move. I'm just going to get a couple kills here. Yeah, and that way it's a lot safer for them, comparatively. Because, again, we're going all the way to the Deathbringer. As long as I'm here to freeze trap this room, I think I'm fine. Oh, that refreeze. That was disgusting. That was a disgusting refreeze. I think he moved for like a frame. It was brutal. Sadly, no spread needle. I would actually like a spread needle with him. Is that a monolith? There we go. The monolith lives on. Chris is already one away. Getting tankier. Oh, we shifted level 30. Not punished. See that chat? The difference of ATP in single tap with charge ray gun here. It's good to know. Because then I have no reason to bring red hand gun in multiplayer now. Assuming there's a force. Oops. Sloppy movement by me there. those shots are. I'm gonna move up because I know instinctively with four players it's two waves and then I think two kills I think is how it works out more or less. So I know that if it's been two waves I need to be in a good position so I could do this. Oh my gosh the Zalora makes such a big difference. Later fight music and lost judgment is so good. I agree Tiggy. We were talking about that on stream the other night. That was really unlucky. So there were three people on the right and one on the left. I went to the left and it hit me because it went for the one on the left. Oh, that was actually kind of nonsense aiming from falls there. Whatever. I played the odds. That was the right thing to do. I just didn't get rewarded. Falls, stop it. Stop it. Yeah. As much as I like the music and some of the combat in Lost Judgment, I'm not going to lie, I like Judgment 1 better. I haven't beaten Lost Judgment yet, but... I, there's a lot of problems with that game, sadly. It, it kind of took me out of the plot for some of it, and a lot of it has to do with the mini games. There we go. Yeah, it's like it. The best way I would frame it is that Lost Judgment feels like. They had a whole bunch of unused mini games, and they decided that this would be the playground for them. And a lot of them are really, really undercooked. Like it, it needed more time in the game development of in chat. Like they are just not good. You know what? Whatever. Oh, somebody actually twins. Oh, somebody twins. Oh, I wish I knew that. I would have hit a different button. I played the side story past one. I don't know what that means. Like, the 
beyond the first Yakuza, or I don't know what that means. So close. There we go. Yeah, there's just a lot of mini games in there that are forced that are not really that fun. And there are a lot of optional ones that feel really bad to play. So probably my least favorite collection of one. There's one that's set in the past. Oh, you mean Zero. No, I've, I've played all the Yakuza except for like a dragon at this point and infinite wealth. Oh. Oh, you're talking about another spinoff. I mean, Yakuza 0 is set in the past, to be fair, but... Um... No, I haven't played Ishin. There we go. We'll do a quick little cleanup. It wasn't too bad. Yeah, it's just... It's one of those things where, like... The tailing in that game is just strictly worse, in my opinion. The judgments. The chase mini game is really awful. It's it's not hard, it's just really boring. There's a lot of forced stealth sections, and they feel terrible. Those actually are really unfun to play, I'm not gonna lie. And there are a lot of them in the main story. They are not optional. So it feels kind of whack. So it's just kind of like one of those ones where like those are the core mechanics and none of them are good and i just felt judgment did it so much better comparatively like the chase sequence being an on rails thing and it like constantly guides you into objects is like one of the dumbest mechanics and then there's also like a parkour section which sounds cool but then they like undertuned it so much that you never need to bother with any uh climbing upgrades ever the entire game and then it just ends up being kind of a more drawn out waste of time because it just kills the pacing when it pops up in the game. There's like a couple sections that are okay, but like think about it compared to like some of the other Yakuza games where you're like running on rooftops doing a chase and they're just so much better than the chase sequences in Judgment or Lost Judgment. It just feels disappointing because I'm like, I saw it done right in Yakuza for the most part in other parts. Even if they aren't, like, the most entertaining thing, it does break it up a little bit. We'll do one more, Chris, and then we'll do some, uh, resets for Seal J Sword. And I, I think the big thing that kind of takes me away from Lost Judgment from a story perspective is I love that, like, it's supposed to be about a murder. And you just end up babysitting kids the whole time, more or less, and it gives me, like, Yakuza 3 vibes. Because I, I really did not like the orphanage in Yakuza 3. Let me be very clear, that absolutely ruined the game and I would never play it again. I got so tired of going back to that orphanage. And the same thing kind of happens before, where you're like, getting really invested in these kids, and I'm like, hey dummy, you're a detective, that you faked your way to get into the high school. Like, move on. <laughs> like, honestly, move on. And then he's like, Oh, oh, you're breaking the law. You're so bad. And then you, like, literally beat up school bullies in the plot. Like, you just straight up throw hands with teenagers. Like, it's so messed up. I'm like, am I supposed to be taking this seriously? This is the drama part, right? Not the comedy part of Judgment. So that, that took me out of it real fast. When you just beat up kids because... Question mark. Like, you enter their school, you're a stranger, and you fight them. It's kind of messed up. <laughs> F, F the kids is me, something like that. Yeah. And, and again, like, they, they frame the minigames as though, like, you're a, their club leader, which is whatever, but, like, honestly, it just, it really drags the game. I, I did not have fun doing those side quests at all. And I think the problem, too, is that, like, I just don't even think a lot of the side quests were any good either. Like, they brought back my least favorite part of Judgment with the, uh, we'll, we'll call them the 
adult crime sinners. <laughs> Put it that way. That, that's the most PG way I can frame it. And I'm like, great. The characters I didn't like are making a cameo. And it's ultra extended. Cool. Didn't like them in the judgment. So I'm just kind of like, whatever. Yeah, there's also just a lot more tedium, I would say, in the side things. Like, you're no you're no longer forced to get certain Mahjong hands, which I think was a huge, huge mistake in uh, Judgment for 100% clear, that you have to arbitrarily be betting and be the randomly chosen leader in order for your wins to count. That was a pretty terrible mechanic, and I did not like the way Lethal Wounds had, like, very limited ways to treat it despite how common it was, so it just became more annoying than, like, a mechanic to play around. But I feel like the trade-off was... There's just really not a reason to use restaurants for the most part in that game. Like, they get very little SP. You might stop briefly if you just didn't pick up a million items, but, like, there's no real point to money in that game either. So, like, very early on, I just cap money. Like, I was in, like, chapter 4 or 5, and I was like, I already bought everything I need. Like, I, I'm max healing, max everything. So I'm like, yeah, I've, I've kind of done. I don't need any more upgrades. And honestly, aside from side quests, I really didn't purchase anything beyond that chapter. I'm also not a fan of how easy it is to miss some of the skill books or the, uh, what is it called? The... They're like the squirrel mini games where you have to use detective tools to find treasures. I really, really hated those. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, chat. I just found it more annoying. It felt like Yakuza Zero's like collect a cards with more steps, but then they put like actually mandatory upgrades on some of those, which is kind of annoying because I feel like some stances just don't function without getting those optional upgrades. And then also for some reason they put skill books in a place that requires skill SP to purchase. And I feel like that was a weird choice. I don't really understand why they did that. Like, they, they let you potentially get items that you missed by spending your skill points. But then they also put items that only appear there in there. And I'm like, why? Why did you do that? Yeah, pen arms can uh, laser. Not too surprising, minus X. You probably just got lasered. By slime. Got him. So I just, as I said before, I feel like it's undercooked. And I, I feel like it also did play into one of the tropes that I was also not a fan of in like Yakuza 1, Yakuza 2, where if important female character dies for sake of tragedy and providing motivation for male character. Like, they've done that so often in Yakuza. I'm like, can we please just move on from that trope? Can we, can we not? We, we did, the, you did it a lot in the early Yakuza. Like, it's fine. You, you can have other, you can have other motivations for a character, I promise you. And I think that's where I just felt kind of sad about it, where I just felt Judgment was just such a, such a strong story. And it just had like a couple of misses with the mechanics. Whereas, like, Lost Judgment just was a bunch of not really fun mini games tied together in a very loose bundle. Not to mention, there were like a bajillion mini games in that one in particular. I think I've played no less than like 16 different mini game types. So, when they don't work, you're just like, ugh. I'm gonna do it like 12 more times to so complete the side story. Yeah, that's the thing, too. They they locked a lot of the side stories behind doing literally all of the minigames, which is not great. Whereas in something like Zero, it was spread out a little more. Like, you might take a character on a date, or it might be like, oh, you just got to do this race. And it's like a couple of minigames were side story related, but not necessarily you have to get all of them completed. Whereas in Lost Judgment, it is like, no. You need to do almost literally everything other than Mahjong. Proceed. Not the best feeling, I would say.
Nice gold badge. There we go. Potentially gonna kill another Sinnoh Blue there. Yep. Nice and simple. Not the one I meant to target, but that's fine. Gonna clear the way for the other players. <laughs> Aim fail with Vulcan. Classic Vulcan problem. See, so, yeah, I don't know. It just it it wasn't the worst one that I played. I definitely really really just like three. And honestly, to an extent, six, which was Song of Life, I think. I think so. I, I think my problem with Yakuza Six was the baby. I could just sum it up with I really did not like the baby, or the mechanics, or the plot relevancy around the said character. It's like, oh my gosh, <laughs> we finally were free of the orphanage, and yet here we are, yet again. Yeah, it's kind of like when you're playing Yakuza 3 and you have, like, total dissonance with the plot and, like, the nonsense that he's doing in that game. It's like, look out, a chairperson's gonna become assassinated. We better tell this person so that they're safe. Oh, I, I guess I'm gonna wait a day and hang out in the orphanage. Like, wait, no. No, somebody's gonna die. Kiryu, don't you want to do something? No, you're just gonna play baseball? Cool. <laughs> just, well, I'm, I'm glad you don't super care. <laughs> just, 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 just give up. It's fine. <laughs> just... It, 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 just, it just might be a small assassination plot, you know. It's not that important. He has his priorities. I'm not gonna lie, chat. When they bulldozed the orphanage in 3, I was cheering the villains on. I was like, please please stop this idiot from going back to this orphanage, I beg of you. <laughs> I'm like, please. It, he just keeps going back here every chapter. I just, I just want to play Yakuza for Yakuza. I don't want to go to the Babysitter's Club. You can imagine how I felt with, in 5 when you have to play as the teen idol and go around shaking hands as a minigame. You can imagine I was super, super, super thrilled about that one. I was like, cool character that adds very little to the plot. Glad we had did like an hour and a half of mini games that were forced. Yeah. Yeah, honestly, I think Zero was one of the strongest and it's really hard to go from Zero to the others. I'm gonna be real honest with you because I, I wanted to play like upwards because I'm like, oh, heard people like it. I just didn't really like one that much. Chu I thought was fine minus the glitch that broke the game for me. It became literally unplayable. Oh, I gotta go back for that PD. Oh, somebody dropped the PD. Never mind. Yeah, Zero I just felt was like one of my favorites. It, aside from some adult scenes that I kind of wish were not there. Where I don't mind adult humor, but I think it goes a little far. I'm not into a lot of those optional minigames. of you so like some of the games tune that tone that down a lot and i'm fine i don't mind dark stuff i don't mind it being like adult humor or like crudeness sometimes but th there's a line that it crosses i think zero goes too far with some of the mini games like uh i hope this isn't in another game it doesn't stop me from liking the game i just don't want to do those things in the game Yeah, one, oh, wow. Look at the pretty one I think when I played the Kiwami version of it, I got taken out because I just found Majima very annoying after a while. Like they wanted, he has a gimmick in the game called Majima Everywhere, where he just randomly shows up as a boss. So he's kind of like a the Mr. Shakedown equivalent. The problem is that the encounters are like ultra forced. So like 
it's like Mr. Shakedown if you can't escape on some of them. And like, it, there is some comedy value in it, but then there's some times where I'm just like trying to walk down a street and I'm like, seriously? I'm like, I, I'm, I just want to do the plot now. Can you, can you not force me into another cutscene battle? Or then I'll go to like a burger shop and then I have to fight him. And I'm like, seriously, I didn't even get to heal? That made me pretty annoyed. <laughs> yeah. I was just like, like, please don't deny my healing when I'm very early in the game and don't have access to healing. I don't care if you do that at the end of the game, but like... Mm. Yeah, and there were... I think for the most part, I did like 4 minus the prison break sequence, which was one of the most unfair old opens to a character I've played in a while, especially for Yakuza. Playing is a character where you can't get extra healing, you can't get extra levels, you are given like three combats to learn them, and then you immediately go into dodging bullets in such an early chapter is a really terrible idea. Hope they never do that again. But like, you know what's really good for an escape sequence? Why don't you play like the biggest character we've ever made? And then uh, we're just going to go ahead and just use snipers on you while you're fighting people with weapons. Also, we're going to make you fight a very annoying boss with unblockables as a grappler. And also, he also gets out of your grapples. So, hope you learned all of his other gimmicks. I, I hope. <laughs> I hope you're the master of the character if you uh, went into that. Because I played the game on hard mode. And every character was easy except for him. Once he got out of that sequence, it got a lot better. And then I could finally understand what his other upgrades did. That was a brutal, brutal open for a character. So there's definitely there's definitely elements in each game where I'm not like a super fan of them. I want to revive Chris so he gets XP. Only need to do a little bit of damage here. There we go. I did 1274 instantly. Yeah, I just felt like Zero was probably the most solid. It took a lot of the stances that I did end up liking in the later Yakuza games and putting it on one character, aka between uh, Kiryu and Majima. Like, that makes sense. Yeah, we'll do a couple CLJ sword runs. I'll switch back to Sky ID. Oh, nice level up. This is already 110, nice. Let's see how he feels about our results now. It's still A rank. Okay, so I'll set up for episode two. So yeah, I mean, like, I'm going to be criti critical about the games, even if I like them. Like, I definitely think one of Zero's lowest points was the rail shooter. Why, oh, why could you not up the sensitivity? <laughs> why, why, why did it have to be like that super ultra garbage slow movement across the screen? Like, come on, come on, Zero. I'm like, everything else is mostly fun, but it's like, man. It was weird. Yeah, it was just kind of like... I, I, I did play through that game on Legend, just to be clear, and I was like, I'm so thankful I got through <laughs> the, the The only thing I was worried about was the rail shooter. That should tell you something. I'm like, man... I'm like, oh, I could beat all these other bosses, but damn you, rail shooter. <laughs> so slow. It's like, at one point, I'm like, okay, I just got to memorize where to put it, because it, it is so slow. It can't just, like, go through there. So brutal. Uh, so we'll wait for some people to hop in, but we'll do some quick Seal J Sword runs. Just do a PW3 reset, I think. Nothing too crazy. Give this character more XP. Pretty happy. He's now about 1500 health. So 
He's getting closer to just tanking falls without being knocked down. Mark Hamill was Majima. Oh, I forgot about that. That's true. Yeah, it just... I, I wasn't a fan of it. I, I wish they treated it more like... Uh, literally, like, spotting Mr. Shakedown. And, like, sometimes you could see... Like, he'll be, be he'll be behind something and it'll shake or something like that. But for me, it was just kind of, like, after a certain point. Yeah, we're doing PW4 resets. We're just waiting for Chris. I think he's switching characters. There we go. <laughs> exactly, kinds of I made that joke earlier, where it was like, Kiryu never killed a man. It shows him just shanking people with spicy knife and like the brutal helicopter death sequence. shooting the boxes instead of the ill girl. my bad. Goodbye, Gibbles. Gibbles. Yeah, like, I don't know. It's just one of those things. I, I ended up liking Judgment. I don't know if I'd like Judgment more than Zero. I think both of those games were very good. I enjoyed them for different reasons. I did like the combat in both minus... I, I would say if there wasn't the mortal wound system, system of Judgment, it would be more clear-cut. I would just pick Judgment. That was not lobby. There we go. We'll do a couple more of these. I do think the combat in... Uh, what's it called? Lost Judgment is very broken. <laughs> Which is like both good and bad. When I, I'm doing like Tekken juggles on enemies, like doing near infinites, it's very silly. Like there were like some quasi infinites that I recall while playing through Zero. Like that stuff happens where you could just reset the AI, nothing it could do. They didn't say the person had to wake up from a coma. True. Oh, Freeze Trap went up early. I think it got shot. Yeah, somebody definitely shot at that time. I'm gonna say somebody is Lieutenant Mantle. Goodbye, Gibbles. Yeah. I definitely felt like, as much as I like Kiryu, I definitely feel like he was not needed in the later Yakuza games. And I, I don't think Six should have happened, to be honest. I was probably the least excited to see Kiryu in 5 in almost any game I've ever played. His position could have been filled by anybody in that game. Like, I support the voice actor, but from a plot perspective, I'm like, eh. Or, or am I thinking of four? Might be thinking of four, right? He just kind of cameo. Like, 
I think I'm thinking of four. He just kind of like cameos in towards the end of the game. He has like a really short chapter and then you just use him in a boss fight at the end of the game. He was not the main lead, I'll put it that way. I might be thinking of four. And I think each of those games had problems. Like all you have to say is just like rubber bullets. People will understand. <laughs> like there's just, there's just certain plot elements that are just so outrageous. And so you can keep it ambiguous. People that haven't played it before, no context what that means. People that have played <laughs> the Love Later Yakuza, they'll be like, yeah, that was pretty dumb. And I'm like, yep. Or I like the genius financial guy who's in charge of like so many millions in money, keeps his safe unlocked. One of the dumbest plot points <laughs> in that game. It's like one, it's like astounding how many bad plot points happen back to back shake your head although i will say yakuza 2 was very unintentionally comical with the no i'm the antagonist of the uh towards the end of the game i felt like it was like one of those spoofs where like another person would just come out of another door off screen and then they would explain why they're the master planner and then somebody else comes in and goes no i was the master planner all along and i planned you planning like that like uh, that unironically happened in that game and i was like oh wait that's not supposed to be funny oops oh yakuza you don't use bullet to use paintballs something like that yeah, I think I got enough time for one more reset, then I gotta go. I'm shaking my head at that from the PSO chat. Yeah, it gets very silly, and it's like, it's fine. You know, Yakuza, you could do a mix of serious and not serious. I don't have any problems with that. It's just that sometimes when the game wants you to take it seriously, it does fall on its face kind of hard. One more. This will be the final run of the stream. Now we we could say I did some CLJ sword runs aside from doing uh, the other one earlier. And we're doing the event quest. So it's like we did the 18 guy guise. We just split it up between four quests of five. I will say though, for people that have played the Yakuza game, I found it so sad for people that have played the quest that they actually, they actually made a quest, a meta quest, talking about how nobody liked the, a certain Yakuza game number, and they just entitled it something else, as like it's like talking about movies and how people just didn't understand it. I thought that was one of the saddest quests. I was like, man, are they really trying to get the pity vote for why people didn't like Yakuza 3 and things like that? I'm like, that 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 was so sad. I don't know why they did that. I'm like, dude, it's okay. You just made a bad game. It's fine. I don't need to be told about its brilliance in a meta commentary. Like, I saw, I played, I judged. Oh, Yakuza. Yeah, it's like, it's like super thinly veiled too, Chad. Like, it, it, you, when you play it, you'll know. Like, it's, it's not subtle at all. <laughs> Especially if you know any of the, uh, anything related to how some games were received. You'll understand immediately. But oh well. I forget, was that in four? I guess that would have been in four, right? It wasn't that long. into the series. Well, thank you all for the runs today, but sadly I gotta go. So it is a short stream. Okay. There's so much alike though. 
Why don't they think the dude who made Monkey Ball made the series? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something else. But anyway, uh, let's go to Blitz Chant. So we got a Daylight Scar for the group. We did some minor points for the anniversary event, and we did play Spaceship, which was one of the lower ones. We played it more than once. So that way we could say we did try. We put like six points towards it. So I think every clear is a point per person that hands it in. So hey, did something with it. Sadly, nothing really dropped in uh, TTF today. We did get a rare slime, but didn't roll the 1 in 21-ish chance before rare bonuses, of course. But oh well, maybe next time. For now, chat, let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube. If you're watching to this point in the video of the VOD, I'd like to say thank you for watching. Hope to see you again next time.